what is going on my divine my fine feminine it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again to let you know what the daily bread is for my divine feminine for the month of february what is going on my ladies what is going on thank you so much for being patient thank you so much for all of the love and support as you guys know there was a little bit delay on the video this month because i was sick but i thank you so much for all of the love and support and the shout outs to my family for us to get well thank you so much you guys for the love and support and i've spoken to a lot of you guys throughout that time so you know to all my ladies my my day ones y'all know i love you thank you so much thank you so much for all the love and support you guys um as you can see there's been some changes we have some brand new um decks and you know um we have made some growth i'm recording on the freaking camcorder now like big up to everybody thank you guys for all the love and support shout out to everyone who's booked personal and private readings thank you to everyone who sent love donations thank you so much it's just made it possible for my page to grow and me put love back into everything that i'm doing and give it back to you so i thank you so much thank you so much um if anyone would like to book a personal private reading you can do so by clicking that about tab on my youtube page there's a hyperlink that says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me again at scorpion reds tarot as simply book me if this video resonated and if you would like to send some love you can do so um by clicking my paypal information and you know if you would like to donate a dollar or two please feel free to go ahead um i greatly appreciate it and it does go right back into the page so ladies um real quick before i get into the prayer this is how we're going to do this because i am going to try to make it an effort even though i know i run my mouth too damn much and i'm probably still going to have a 40 minute damn video but whatever this is my intentions to try to make the videos a little bit shorter so i'm just going to do a shuffle today we're doing um the daily bread for tomorrow um tuesday the 19th of february and wednesday the 20th of february so i'm gonna shuffle and i'm gonna take the top uh, card um off of the deck for the 19th and then the bottom uh for the message for the 20th and um hopefully that makes it a little bit short and hopefully it also brings a powerful punch of a, a, a powerful new messages because we definitely have some new decks here so um it should be great so I, hopefully y'all love it um let's get into the prayer you guys so i don't make this too long running my mouth father god thank you so much for touching our lives thank you so much for moving through our lives thank you so much for being present in our life every single waking day every moment every beat of our heart, every breath we take. Father God, thank you so much for just being right there. We love you and we love you for loving us and just pouring love into our life uh, right now. Father, we are in this moment of just pure freedom. Um, I know that we've been going collectively through a lot of ups and downs because when we're making movements and we're feeling good, and the devil be working hard, but he don't know that we got you standing right next to us and ain't nothing going to happen to us. You can't make us cry no more. You can't scare us no more because we are truly, truly covered and we are truly blessed. And we are truly walking in faith. And, you know, when you know, when you know that you just have a level of protection and you were just covered and that you were so loved from the inside out, from our father, from the truest and the only person that can give you just undivided love, true love. And that is the father, the holy, the spirit, our father, God, Jesus Christ. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can get in your way. And Father, we thank you so much for being present in our life every day. Thank you for continuing to move in with us. And thank you for this daily bread and this message that you're giving us every day to be strong and just to help us to be encouraged. And I thank you for all of the blessings and the messages that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Father, please give the divine feminine, all of the beautiful women that have been watching this, been going through this journey. Please reach out and touch each one of their lives. And thank you so much for glowing in their lives and being present and just showing them that love internally most importantly on how to love their self and pour that love back into their life so that they can uh, receive that love back from you or from the universe thank you so much god for all of the messages in the past present and future please give the divine feminine guidance for february um tuesday the 19th and february wednesday the 20th thank you again father god
All right. So let me just do a quick shuffle. I did do a shuffle before I got on, but you know, Father, please give us guidance for the divine feminine for February the 19th and 20th. Thank you so much. Father, please give us guidance for the divine feminine for the February the 19th and the 20th. Thank you again, Father God, for all of the blessings and the messages. Past, present, and future. Please give it the divine feminine guidance. Thank you, Father. For all of the blessings and the messages in the past, present, and future. Please give it the divine feminine guidance. For February the 19th and the 20th. Thank you so much again. and the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give the divine feminine guidance for February the 19th and the 20th. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of your messages and all of the divine guidance. Thank you so much. Thank you for the divine guidance for the divine feminine. The 19th and the 12th of February. Thank you. All right, so let's get into the message very soon. King of Pentacles. Sea Storm. Conclusions. Let's get into Hill Family. Page of Cups. Powerful shifts. Oh, Lord Jesus. I said I was going to do the bottom, didn't I? Look, I ain't even paying no attention to what the heck I done said I was going to do for my own thing, Lord. Let go of control issues. <laughs> the magician in reverse. What is this? Oh, please don't lose hope. Okay. That's a good message. What was this? Uh-huh. Turn around and look at them cups behind you, baby. Always remember that you got other opportunities behind you. And the answer is no. Whoa. What is the answer no about? All right. So, ladies, let's get into the guidance first off for tomorrow. Okay? Let's get into the guidance for tomorrow. So God wants you to know, to clearly decide what you want so that it comes now. Because there is a lot of cosmic changes going on in the universe that you don't even know. I feel like we're in this place of just really being patient. So, and, and being patient. And I want to tell you that God is, for my divine feminine, he is really... Um, proud of your patience that you've been showing throughout that time throughout this time because I feel like you guys have been patient and y'all have very much so been walking in faith and you guys know that um everything that you've been praying for and that you've been wishing for is coming very soon but what God wants you to do especially in the heart and the matters of the heart and love to clearly focus on exactly what you want so that God can bring it to you do not and, and what I mean by that Change your conversation. Don't say, well, God, I don't want a man that don't know how to treat me. I don't want a man that did it. I don't want a man. Stop telling God what you don't want and tell him what you want. Okay? Because if you're focusing on what you don't want, it's not helping us. Like, it's just not helping. It's not helping. It's not helping bring in exactly what it is that you want. You keep focusing on what you don't want. You know, focus on what you do want. Clearly know that and believe that and get excited about it. And it's going to come to you very soon. I just feel like once you kind of change your verbiage, because when you're praying, I just feel like your wording is wrong. Start saying, I am, I will, I believe, thank you, I'm happy for, you know, even though you don't see it, it's coming very soon. 
So just change your wording and clearly decide what you want and know that it's coming very soon. I feel like you have still been running into these um, King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, and, and not to be shady in any sense of the form, but I feel like the men that you have been running into, that they've been broken and they've been broke and they really don't have anything to offer you. And these are not men that you see that can put in the hard work that you are willing to put in to make a relationship successful so that it can grow and be fruitful and it could just have a strong foundation and you're just you know you're not impressed that you're not willing to give your time to anything to like that because pinnacles is time and effort and hard work and you're not willing to give your time to that and I feel like that's why your whole conversation with God when you've been praying it's been God I don't want no man like this I don't want this I don't want that and this is it blah 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 and God is just like I know you don't want that I know you don't want that but no at the same time I'm going to test you you know I'm going to test you but Focus on what you do want. Focus on what makes you happy and communicate and talk to me about that so I can bring more of that into your life. Because if you keep telling me what you don't want, I'm going to be like, who, you don't want this? You don't want this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And not trying to be funny. But that's all you're talking to me about. That's all you're talking to me about. I'm trying to bring you something better, but I need your mind to focus on better and stop focusing on what you don't want. You know, we know that already, you know. So if you don't want this coming into your life no more, stop focusing your energy on it, okay. So this is the sea storm, okay. So this is the calm in midst of the chaos. And I feel, okay, let's get into what the, what the book actually says, okay. Because right now, honestly, what I do feel for a lot of my ladies, before I even get into what the book says, okay. For a lot of my ladies, the reason why I feel like God is saying it to, to you right now is because you are still um, a little bit indecisive. And you need to come to your own conclusion about this situation in regards to the stuff dealing with your past. I feel like there are some ladies um, in a divine feminine group that are still kind of looking for some closure. And they are still blinded. Listen, they are still blinded trying to come to terms in regards to their thinking about the situation. And it's like one minute you're hot. One minute I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't. Almond Joy's got nuts and mounds don't. Like one minute you are Almond Joy, one minute you a mound. One day you feeling like a fucking nut and you feel a nutty and the next day that you not. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool. We're all entitled to that because that's what it is i mean that's what all people go through going through a uh, breakup you know but the thing is it's like i think that you're blinded to the fact that you're holding yourself back trying to come to a conclusion about the situation and trying to find some closure you see you need to come to your own uh, conclusion you're, you need to come to your own conclusion because I feel like right now it's the calm, it's the calm, and I don't want to say the calm before the storm, this is the calm after the storm because a lot of the bullshit is kind of cooling down and it's washing away and I feel like the tail end of the storm is really you coming to your own conclusion and ripping that blindfold off and you having your own thoughts and coming to your own mental ends into the situation there's nothing that you're going to find over there that's going to make you feel no better about the situation you need to come to your own closure you need to find your own closure with this and then that'll really smooth out the whole chaos to and, and, and it'll end the storm that's honestly what i'm feeling that's honestly what i'm feeling but let's read and let's see what the book say let's read what the book say cherry two cherry two okay Let's see what she got to say. Me and this fake ass Jamaican accent, y'all, y'all gonna get me one day for this fake ass Jamaican. 
Anyway, um, it says calm amidst the chaos. Even though the seas are wild and the atmosphere is torn with stabs of lightning and there is no land in sight, the sea storm being is following her intuition and she knows what to do to make it home. Lightning won't strike her and she will keep swimming until she reaches land. She seems slightly in a trance and is using her inner wisdom and deep knowledge to swim home. She is a form of Atlantis and where she's from she saw beings doing things that would lead to destruction and how their hubris led them to upheaval and her home is now sunken under the sea's waves. She now goes in search of a new home and you too and so can you. Uh-uh, not that I written. No, you don't. Mm -mm. The, sea, the sea storm speaks. You are surrounded by storms, wild moments, and a great deal of emotional drama at this moment. The world, as you know, may be changing in almost uh, unrecognizable ways. There is destruction behind you. I'm going to say that again. There is destruction behind you, and you have left it in the past. Come on, girl. You better leave some stuff back there, okay? But you are still searching for your new home, and you will find it. Once you turn inwards and listen to your inner knowledge, that will send you in the right direction. Don't look, but look. You are a shapeshifter. You are able to make it through this time with no land, no home, and no apparent rescue by just trusting that you will make it. Come on, fuck. Girl, did not tell you you better you better be guided by your faith. Just because you don't have no man right now and no place and no space to call your home right now at this current moment in regards to love, maybe. Honey, you just follow your instincts and your intuition and know firmly exactly what you want and just continue to talk to God about that. Honey, like I said, you just got to clean up your communication because the only thing was just like, God, I'm tired of these. Like, why are these? Why are they around me? Please get them from me. <laughs> like, I feel like that's your conversation. Like, get the why? Why? They, they not offering me nothing and I'm tired of these men being in my energy. Stop talking about them. Stop talking about them. And stop trying to stop trying to think and stop trying to come to come some conclusion about why this person did whatever in the past and things like that. Just let it go. You were too good for them. That's the that's the only thing that you need to, to think about. Just know that you were too good. You were too good for them. And as soon as you know that, that's the only key to get you to the right place where you need to be. And you are guiding yourself to the right place. You already know where you going and it's showing. You know where you going and it's showing because that blessing is coming to you very soon. Just clean up your conversation, baby. Come to your own conclusion. Come to your own conclusion that you are the solution. Girl, because you was too good for them anyway. Come on, father. Come on. All right now. Now that, now that is tomorrow. That is tomorrow, honey, and I and I love it. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Now let's get into Wednesday, as I say on the morning side. Let's get into Miss Wednesday, honey. Don't lose up hope. And whatever you was thinking about doing, the answer is no. Whatever you was thinking about was going to have you all dry and cracked up, girl. You was going to need some moisturizer. You're going to need some air. You're going to need some water. You're going to need some, some coconut oil. Look at girl. This dry. Girl, that was a dry, girl. Mm, don't do it. Don't do it. All right, girl. And you know what, what I'm feeling? What I'm feeling is like y'all questioning God is like my life is dry. It's, I don't know what right now. It is dry and it's stale. Is it going to be like this forever? The answer is no, girl. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. <laughs> y'all phone been dry as hell. Your phone been dry and you just bored. Uh, you are bored. And God wants you to know, listen... Do not lose hope. Do not lose hope and, 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 and get down on yourself. And just listen. Girl, you are not. Listen, you 
use your powers use your powers you are powerful do not get down on yourself and think that you do not have the tools and the resources that you need to pull off this Lazarus and rebirth yourself okay like the spiritual OG says um because in the Scorpio video she always be saying that somebody trying to come through and pull a Lazarus and resurrect something and, and, and they say, can't nobody pull no Lazarus on no Scorpio. If y'all don't follow spiritual OG, follow her. That is my baby. I love her. Love, love, love spiritual OG. Y'all support the other readers on YouTube. Listen, you feel like you don't have the power to resurrect. You know, I feel like... um. When we first started this divine feminine movement, you, your spirits was up. Like, you knew, you like, uh-uh, I can manifest anything. I can do anything. Like, I'm strong. I'm powerful. I'm divine feminine. Hear me roar. Girl, that was you. Okay, girl, that was you. You was all out here in the streets. Like, girl, what, what, what? So who, who gonna check me, boo? Who? When, where, what, and how, girl? Who gonna do it? Who gonna be it? I can't see it. But for some reason, a season just came around. A season came around because shit got dry. Shit got dry. And you just started getting down on yourself. Putting. Putting pie. Putting. And you still cute as a and you still cute as a peach looking all sad. Why you all sad? Get glad, girl. Listen. Stop trying to control the universe and because you want things to happen now, not now, but right now, but right, right, right now. You understand? And I feel like uh, you are just at a point where it's like if I can have it my way, my phone wouldn't be dry. I would have a little bit more action popping off and things like that. But at the same time. You have to change your energy. I, you have to change your energy, dog. You have to change your energy. And it's hump day, baby. It's hump day. Do a little titty shimmy shake for me. Do a titty shimmy. Do a titty shimmy and gimme, gimme. Do a titty shimmy and gimme, gimme. Give me some more, girl. Put some moisturizer on them elbows. Wait, do how are my elbows? Are my elbows looking ashy? Girl, put some moisturizer on them elbows. Put some moisturizer on them edges, girl. And put your don't put no wedges on. I was about to say put some wedges. Don't put don't put no wedges on. I was about to have y'all out here looking like a bama. Don't do that. Grease yourself. Look, look, listen. But Linda. This is what I'm gonna tell you to do. Cause you're feeling dry, and I know why. We need to spruce you up. Okay, I want you to go to Victoria. Just go get you a cute little panty and bra set. Because let me tell you something. You got to feel good within to feel good without. Okay, boost yourself up within. I want you to go in Victoria. Because if anything, I under all of this, I want you to feel sexy. I want you to feel sexy. I want you to feel sex kitten. Fuck that. I want you to go to Miss Savage Fancy, girl. Become a VIP customer. Go to Savage Fancy. Go get Savage. Savage. Go get Savage and lube yourself up. Get some Lubriderm, girl. Get up in them cracks and them crevices. And I want you to grease yourself up with some sexiness and some savageness. Okay, girl? I want you to go get you a cute little Savage Fancy set. I want you to go to whatever little cute boutique or whatever. It's the winter time. Get you some with some cute little fur, 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 and be her, fur, fur. I just want you to be real cute and get yourself real juicified, okay? Real juicified because when you feel good within, it exudes without, and you're going to attract beautiful and loving attention to yourself because you're loving yourself if you don't want your situation to be dry and i'm telling you the answer is no your situation is not going to be dry forever you got to be clever and you got to maneuver you got to be a slicker you got to be smarter than the average bayer you got to be smarter than the average bayer around hey girl you hear me 
Mm -hmm. Just put a little moisturizer. Just put a little moisture on them edges, girl. And throw away the wedges. We don't do no. Put a little moisturizer on the edges and throw away the wedges. We ain't doing no Bama shit, okay? And we about to put it out there. We about to put it out there because, girl, we about to stop trying to control this shit. Because that's, you know, that's sometimes when we try to control everything and we think, you know, what well, is going to happen? I want this to be like this and this and it. And we put too much expectations on things. That's when we start to feel weak and we feel powerless when things don't go the way that we want it to. Stop putting so much expectation on it and just focus on loving yourself. And no, turn around and focus on what is behind you. There is love behind you. You see that rose? There is, I'm trying to tell you, turn around and focus on the future. Because God got something so beautiful growing behind you that you are not even seeing right now. For real. Seriously. Stop kind of control this. Let God. Oh, and it says allow this situation to unfold naturally. Let God do what he needs to do. Stop putting expectations because you're limiting your expectations is putting limitations on your growth and you're making yourself sad and you're losing hope and you are powerful and you have everything that you need. Stop worrying and do not lose hope. When you lose hope, you stagnate your growth. Okay, you stagnate your growth. I need you to turn around. I need you to get yourself juiced back up again. No, your situation is not going to be dry. Okay, it's not gonna be dry. That's the only thing you worry about because your phone been dry, girl. No, mm -mm. guess what? Psst. Hey, guess what? The springtime is gonna be popping in the springtime. This your time to rest and make yourself look real pretty and moisturize your edges, girl. Just moisturize your edges and um, put some moisturizer on your elbows and go buy you some cute outfits and um, take care of yourself and make yourself look. this and let me get my ass up out of here okay girl okay girl autumn girl and did not say girl did not say around cuffing season i ain't even pay attention if this says autumn is my last chance girl you better cut it out didn't i just told you and i didn't even pay it no attention you thinking in your head autumn is my last chance if i don't find me a man by this autumn my phone gonna be dry forever girl if you do not stop it stop it girl you is manifesting all this dry misery and weary shit girl stop it girl stop it it says autumn is my last chance girl if you do not stop girl with your dry ass conversation if you don't stop this dry ass conversation Lost and lonely, this fragile little being has an apple of life and wisdom. She has hope, although it's fading fast. This lonely little fairy is all buttoned up against the cold and bleak autumn landscape. Offers no warmth and comfort. Why, why my nose itching? Hold on, girl. What the heck does that mean? Y'all tell me why my nose itching. <laughs> Mm -mm. About to be smelling something real good. What's that mean, y'all? What's that mean? Why? Yes, my nose is itching. Why is the tip of my nose itching? Hold on. I don't know what that mean. Anyway, so, um, what was I saying? This lovely little fairy is all buttoned up against the cold, and the bleak autumn landscape offers no warmth or comfort. But in her hands, she holds a source of hope and light itself. It's a bright red apple. With this apple, she can sustain herself till the frostbound landscape thaws. She can save the seed from her feast and plant them in the warming ground so she never goes hungry again. And the reward of this act will continue far into the future, far beyond 
her lifetime. Girl, didn't I tell didn't I tell you you ain't gonna be dry like you have everything that you need? God is blessing you with everything that you need resource wise so that you can sustain yourself throughout this winter into infinity and beyond you have all of the resources and everything that you need to be powerful but you're telling yourself that you don't because the situation seems dry right now because god wants you to take appreciation and honestly pay attention to what you got in your hands and use it to your benefit that's why he gave it to you duh Duh. That's why he telling you to turn around and pay attention to that rose he got behind you. Cause a rose is still a rose, baby girl. You're still a flower. What? Why? What? I sung that in somebody's video somewhere. I don't know. That song has been in my head. Anyway, let me finish telling y'all what this card say, y'all. And my nose still is a wild. Oh my god. What does that mean? Y'all tell me what that means. Does that mean something, y'all? Anyway, she holds the source. Of hope, but is almost afraid to bite into a girl. Girl, don't you understand? It is your world. It seems like she is saving it for a rainy day or for when she has no other choice. Soon she will realize what she has herself and turn to it for its substance and comfort. The winter will hold on. Child, it says soon she will realize what she has herself and turn to it for substance and comfort and the winter will then be through. It cannot end until she takes a bite of this apple that she holds. So what God is trying to tell you that your winter and all this stuff, it won't end until you learn to take a bite of what he is giving you, which is life. He's giving you literally the apple seed. Like he's giving you. Autumn speaks. I will keep waiting for help, for hope to come. But all about me is cold. I cannot find what I'm looking for. Indeed, I can barely remember what it is I'm in search for before I got lost. I am cold. I am alone. And no one is with me. But I know I have this apple and that is what I truly need and I will eat it and then all will be well. The true message, time to stop relying on others for your comfort, your warmth and your substance. That is only true self-love can bring. Stop looking at other people for the, self, for the substance that only true love can bring. Waiting for others to give you what you need will only be a long, lonely, bone chilling wait at this time. So look at what you already have. Turn to it and feast on it. Learn to love and appreciate that apple in your hand and save its seeds of self-love and plant it. Girl, listen, come on, this message now. From this one remaining magical apple comes the gift of wisdom comes self-love comes abundance comes the knowledge that you are a person who is deserving to care for and love your own self once you take one bite of this juicy apple you will be committing to helping yourself come on father with this message right now okay and then you will be free of the need for approval, shelter, and rescue. There is only one true rescue. And it comes from the miracle of self-life. Go ahead and eat that apple. Come, Father, come on. Come on, Father. Come on. Now, y'all not made me slam my book down. Father, listen. Whoo, if y'all wasn't a mad sage. No, your life ain't going to be dry. God is giving you the apple. He is trying to make you understand that you are truly the apple of his eye. And he wants you to take a bite of this apple and love yourself and stop looking for love and appreciation and validation from a man or for a woman or from anybody and find it in yourself. 
Find it in yourself and everything that you've been asking for. He'll give it to you. You got to know. Stop trying to focus on a time frame and, and, and all of this stuff. And I, and I feel like that's what's been effing y'all up. Y'all but focusing on a time frame and because this time frame is coming past. And you thought you would have certain shit popping off by now. You're feeling powerless. Girl. Let everything unfold naturally. Focus on what God is trying to teach you right now. Girl, honey. Cause a rose is still a rose. Baby girl, you're still a flower. Girl, it don't matter what these niggas try to do. It don't matter what they recognize in you. If they didn't recognize how beautiful of a rose that you are, that is their fucking loss. Cause guess what? No. The answer is no. Your phone will not be for dry forever god is waiting on you to truly bite into that apple and love yourself and show him and i mean truly show him girl put some moisturizer on them edges throw away them wedges girl stop being a bama stop being a bama put some moisturizer on them edges and throw away them wedges and stop being a bama girl i love y'all i will see y'all on miss thursday girl la mm. how y'all like this reading how y'all like them tell them dusty hoes say how you like them apples you thought shit was gonna be dry not I. What I told y'all a long time. We ain't go for all this for naught. We ain't go through all this for naught. No. Mm -mm. Girl. You better take a bite of that apple. And stop thinking girl, about you. What you mean autumn is my last chance? Girl, what? I know you ain't think that lost. The girl. Come on, child. Didn't I tell you? Very soon, girl. You better start talking to God about what you want and not what you don't want. Girl, I love y'all. Shit, I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all on Miss Thursday. <laughs> see you, ladies. Boy. <laughs>